Welcome to Star Citizen. So, if your ship does not have enough power, what actually happens? Well, most of the vehicles do have power plants that can sustain them, or at least what they have installed at that given moment of purchase. With some ships just upgrading uh, its weapons, its components, and leaving the power plant B can actually end up getting you into a bottleneck situation where your engines do not put out enough power for your ship to operate at full capacity. For me, this has happened actually once. I believe it was the Hornet and I upgraded everything on it. Well, not everything, seeing as I left the power plant B, but I did upgrade the weapons and I upgraded the shields. And from that, it was enough to actually make this ship underperform. Even if a ship barely does have enough power to, well, run everything, you will still see the signs that ship is not running 100% perfectly. Good example here is when you are flying using your boost, you can see the sparks flying from the thruster showing as if the ship is not working properly. Now these things are actually a lot more likelier to happen when you turn on your ship as everything demands power, everything needs to be charged up and so you may see it a bit more clearly. Now you can help your ship out if you manage to turn on your power to your weapons, to your shields or some other parts if you truly have attached something big on it and it's your only ship to fly and you do want to get that equipment to another location. What I have done now is downgraded my power plant. The thing here is that at first your ship will get some power, it will get enough to fly off, to take off, but then the control is utterly lost. No specific part of the ship is actually getting any significant amount of power. Now since I am out in the space this does not look some tremendously bad situation. There is a lot of control lost, you can to an extent maneuver, although I wouldn't suggest it. Although if this is done in atmosphere, what goes up must come down. So in short, this is an extreme bottleneck. As you saw, I didn't really go too far up before I lost control. But if you have something a bit better up or not as heavily bottlenecked power plant as mine is, you can actually take off for maybe 100 meters or so, and then you will lose other control. There is a lot of connection between the power you have and the power the ship needs. And depending on how much the ship can get, it actually will perform either better or worse. I don't mean better or worse in the way of your shield regenerating or ammo regenerating. I'm talking here about how far your ship can go before it utterly, well, shuts down. Well, it doesn't shut down, but it utterly stopped, as you can see in my case. And it stopped quite early. If I would have had a bit better power plant, I might have made it a bit further before I lost control. So this is one thing you really should keep an eye out if you are modifying your ship by yourself. If you're not using any assistance to, well, notify you what's going on. Actually, if your ship does not have enough power, you should be notified pretty much with a red text on your ship's UI. So it is highly suggestible if you're upgrading your ship and you know it has some poor civilian grade power plant, you should also upgrade the power plant along with the weapons and the shields. Anyway, I hope this gave some nice insight about uh, the importance of power. And thanks for watching.